guys, it's your girl Life in Infinity TV, and as you guys know, this is my second episode of Finney's Playhouse. Before we get started, I am going to introduce you guys to my cosmetics line that will be dropping February 14th, so make sure you guys save the date. So welcome in my special guest. We have the one and only Angel Bradley. What's up, y'all? All right. So what's up, sis? Like, what's up, sis? How you been? Like, you ready for You ready? Like you ready yeah. for? You Let's ready? get to the tea. Let's, Let's get to oh, the tea. To the juice. She's starting early. <laughs> it's this gonna be a breeze. I just did something like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You ready? Oh, okay, all right, then. So, are you happy to be here? Like, yeah, this is different. I'm actually working on something kind of like this right now. Mm -hmm. But this is different. It's my first time doing something like this. It's your first time doing something like this. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what's up. So, girl, how's been? How's life? Like, how you mm. been? Good chill. I actually been sick, mm -hmm. but I'm just not getting over it, so I'm trying to get back up, get back active. I feel like I've been lazy on my butt, but I'm up now. You up now? Mm -hmm. Girl, I've been sick too. You could. I'm still kind of sick. You could kind of hear it in my voice. But um, so like, how has it been? Because you know, we transitioned from you know moving together, then we stopped moving together. So like, how has that transition been? Because you know. Like, I was I was already experienced with living on my own, but you wasn't really experienced with. So how was that transition for you? I feel like I always been ready to mm -hmm. live by my own because you know Taryn and Sean, there's just always stuff going on or whatever. I always wanted my own space. I feel like and just to do whatever I wanted. Like I felt like I was ready for it and mature for it, and mm -hmm. I was ready to pay the bills. I was ready to clean up. Like that's where I'm at now. Like I'm comfortable with it. It feels like I've been doing it my own. So it's like, it's coming natural to you now. Yeah. So like, you feel like living with me, like when we was living together for a little certain amount of time, did it like help you get yeah, the glimpse like of- Yeah, I was like in college or something, <laughs> like living with a roommate. That's what it was like. yeah. Girl, so how was like the influence of life? Like how, elaborate that for me. Like how, you know, we went from, we went from the, you went from high school, I'm from college. So like, how did you, Transition into the influence of life. Like, how did you manage to deal with all of the extraness that came with it? Like, how was that? I mean, it's kind of hard now because I'm in a relationship with somebody who's not really on social media. He's like not. That. He's he is, but it's not like his. That's not what he do. Like, well, that's not like his he main just focus. Do it just thing. Yeah. So it's kind of harder for me to like, you know. But he's down to do whatever. Mm -hmm. but it's just different transitioning from coming from somebody who did do YouTube right. every day. Right. But from high school, I mean, I knew I wanted to do it and then wanted to get everything together, but I just never really did it because I was always in school. So now that I'm not in school, that's like the only thing I got to do. So it kind of, I feel like that came naturally too. You feel like that came naturally? Yeah, because I was already on Instagram, TikTok, all that. It was just YouTube was kind of harder. Yeah. 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 I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So... Do you, how do you feel like, you know, when people bring up and they say like, um, you know, they just known because of those two and they just came up because of those two. Like, does that affect you in any kind of way? Or is it just like, girl, um, like, I feel like we appreciate, you know, the help and the guidance that we got as we was building my stuff. Definitely for me, coming from me, because y'all know I saw that. I didn't start my, I had a platform on TikTok and Instagram, but I didn't really have a platform on like, YouTube for real, for real. But I feel like, I don't feel like it was like we just took it and ran off with it. Like they're putting it, you no. know, like. Honestly, if y'all want to be completely honest, me and, we saying that name, me and Nunu <laughs> started, we were talking before we uh -huh. ever started anything with YouTube. I was still doing YouTube by myself when me and him were dating right. behind the scenes. Right. Like nobody even knew we were together and I was still doing YouTube by myself. Right. So. He didn't have to be a factor. He just wanted to help. Once you with somebody, they want to help you do something. They want yeah. to do this and that. So y'all just like, oh, they used y'all. They mm -hmm. this and that. They wanted to help us. They wanted to <laughs> we put did, us in the video. Yes, it's like, to, like, we didn't ask them to, thing. we didn't ask them to like, put me on your YouTube channel, this and that. Nah, exactly. it wasn't all that. It just was something clear, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. Y'all blow that all the way out. Y'all always say that, though. They always say that, oh, you only blow it because of this and that. You only did it. Y'all don't even know. So do you feel like social media has like changed you or do you feel like it has grown you to be like a more mature per person? Mm, I want to say more mature, but it just now like 
I'll go live. Like today, I went live and they was like, oh, you cross-eyed. I'm like, I know, I can't see. Like, I'm just okay with it now. Like, I'll tell At them, first, you wasn't. I know. I, yeah. I was going there with no wig on, no makeup on. Mm -hmm. Like, if they say something, but like, yeah, I know, my feet big. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm human, which I, it's okay. Right. Like, I don't care no more. Either. She said, I don't care no more. Yeah. I feel like now, I feel like I'm just, okay, so how would you, mm, do you think I've changed or do you think I'm still the same person? Um, from when? From when we started. Yeah. How? Like, when we first started, we both, honestly, was like, just, we both just got out of school, mm -hmm. figuring out we have everything, didn't know what we wanted to do, right. just going with the flow. Now, like, if we think of something, I feel like we put our minds to it and we just gonna do it. Like, mm -hmm. we at that point now to where we gotta do that, really, right. to make money. Got you gotta figure out what you wanna do now. So I feel like we mature now and we doing it. So at first you feel like we would just think about it but not go through with it. Uh, yeah. The only thing we was doing when me and you were living together was like YouTube. Like the first thing that, the first video that came to our mind, we weren't really doing, I don't feel like we was really doing nothing outside of that. Mm -hmm. Like No, we wasn't. It was just, Oh no, we were supposed to start stuff together. Yeah, we were talking we'll about, talk it. about it. But we would talk about it, but we wouldn't, alright, let's do this. <laughs> we right. we will just talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it for real, for real. So do you uh, do like the supporters and all that? Like, does that bother you? Does that make you not want to post certain stuff and I want to say certain things in a sense? Yeah. Only, they be saying me and my man look alike. That stuff okay. is no, so Okay, no, Jack weird. can really be our brother. I'm not even going to no, hold that you. that is so weird to <laughs> yes. me. Like, I block people for saying that. I Why? Block so many. That's weird. Angel, that's honestly a compliment. What's wrong I know <laughs> couples that look alike last longer, but that is so weird to me. I don't like when y'all say that. If y'all say that, I'm going to block you. Ask them. Ask the people that said it in the comments. They block. All of them. I feel like... I feel like that could be like, that's like a compliment. He do look like our brother. I'm not even going to hold you. How? Just because, <laughs> I guess he's light skinny. I don't know. Oh, he no. could pass for our brother. But that's not bad, though. I don't think I, that's it bad. It just irritates me. She said it irritates me. Because it's like, you ain't dating your brother. Yeah, like, like why that's would your man. Say that? Why would that come to your mind? Like, oh my God, are y'all siblings? You just seen me kiss him. I'm like, what? Yeah. No, that's weird. So, like, when I first moved out here, like, I was like, I don't know, it's like, I got the jitters, I was excited. And you know, why do you think they fell in love with like the sisters? Because you know, after the little situation that happened with, you know, Damara and Nunu, it's like, we put our mind, I feel like we still put our mind together and was like, we still about to do it. Like, they ain't stopping nothing, we gonna still continue. And it was hard for us too, because it was like. Well, what you mean, after what? After, after we stopped talking? Yeah, after we stopped talking, because we both stopped talking to them around the same time, right? I After think you Florida, first. oh me, me first, first yeah. me flirt, me first. Yeah, yeah. Wait, when you? Oh no, because yeah. after Florida, y'all was good. Yeah. Oh. Then, yeah. yeah. Y'all was good. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, y'all was good. I'm tripping. So, yeah. So I feel like. So when did we start to? Oh no, you started talking back to him. Yeah. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. And then why you think they fell in love with like the sisters, the sisters, the sisters? Who the the supporters? Oh, just cause our vibes. Everybody already think we twins. We mm. just be chilling. Like we gonna have fun. We gonna turn up. Like who don't want to be around us? Like I feel like everybody would have fun around us. Mm. You feel like they would just mess with our vibe for real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Stuff we do. Like we not boring people. I don't feel like. Nah, we be chilling. We not mediocre either. Like we just. Mm. We funny. We fun. We. Got a lot of energy at times. We <laughs> athletic, like we do a lot of stuff. We do. So. We was having fun. Yeah. So um, the moving out situation, like, do you feel like that boy our relationship with each other down a lot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are you talking about moving in or moving out from each other? Moving out from each other. Uh, yeah, because how everything happened. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of hard to like bounce back from that because it was so big, mm -hmm. and that was like the first big thing that ever happened That's between us. Right, and the first argument we didn't we've even... ever been in. So I feel like with us being sisters and never getting in a big argument, we didn't really know how yeah. to handle it. Like yeah, we, we took it to heart. We took it yeah. as oh, she coming for me, but like, in reality, we really just sisters. Right, because if we was to get in, a, if I was to get in a fight with Tans and Sean, we gonna forget about the next day. Right. But, 
Since we didn't grow you. up together. Exactly. And I think that's what they don't know neither. Like, me and Angel, we didn't grow up together. We have different mom and we have the same dad, but we didn't grow up together. I probably was with y'all for like, I probably always go by them during the summertime. Yeah. During the summertime, but Angel was so young. Yeah, I was in my elementary school. Like Angel was so young, so we never really had a real bond. We didn't grow a bond until what? My birthday stuff, right? Yeah, like yeah. No, your graduation. No, he. Oh yeah, my graduation. Your graduation. We didn't really like grow a bond and so because we saw we had a lot of similarities and we was like, dang, we could really like vibe for real. Like, mm -hmm. so I don't know. It was fun. It happened quick, but it was really it was fun, but. You know, I feel like I never got into it with a sibling before because when I was with my mom, it was just always me and my mom. She have Terrence and Sean to get in, you know, arguments and stuff with. So when me, like once I get into an argument with somebody, it's like I just take it there because I don't really, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, I don't know. I didn't look at it as like family. I looked at it like Ah, like everybody just was coming for me, like she just said. Yeah. So I didn't look at it as like family. I just looked like everybody was attacking, finny, finny, finny. So that's why I feel like I reacted to that how I reacted to it. And that's why I feel like we we ain't shake we ain't shake back yet, but we're shaking back. Like it's it's slowly it's, it's slowly, slowly getting, back, getting there. Like, we know like any day, sister, sister, like call me any it's good over here or whatever. But we slowly, you know, it's gonna take time. But Everything we, don't happen fast. Yeah, it's we getting there. We getting there. Everybody not there yet, but we getting there it's slowly. <laughs> like it's it's yeah, take time. It's still family. Like it's still it's yeah. still good. So like, do you feel like you know? I know you're in a relationship, and how's that? Great. He's this is the best relationship I've ever been in. Like that's crazy because in a relationship you're supposed to be. Having fun and love, like, mm -hmm. they're supposed to be treating you right. But this is, like, the only relationship I feel like is a, that has been a real relationship. Like, so do you feel like you're in love? You've been, so you're in love? Yes, we're in love with each other. And <laughs> that's my husband and we getting married. So, so yeah. do you feel like you changed anything from being with Nunu to being with Jay? Yeah. You changed some stuff? Yeah, I don't smoke no more. I don't know if y'all know that. I don't smoke no more. Good. Um... <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, oh, he made you stop smoking. But it's like, he doesn't smoke. And he never asked me to stop smoking. But when I'm with him, like, I don't even think about smoking. But it was just the fact of me being by myself or with another person that smokes. We were smoking 24-7. Mm -hmm. And y'all wasn't getting a lot of stuff accomplished, too. Exactly. And so with him, it's just like, you see the bigger picture. Yeah. You and he's it. a man. Like, okay. He's his business. Like, Period. that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said he's a man, so what you was in before, that was just petty love. I feel like it was childish. Like, yeah. I feel like I should be the brat in the relationship, not both of us. Mm -hmm. Like, it's okay if, if I'm just mad and nagging or whatever, you shouldn't get mad because I'm mad. Like, he, gonna, he the type to, wait, what's wrong? Like, talk to me. Like, in my past relationships, right. they would get, how you gonna get mad because I'm mad? Like, I don't understand that. And you're a dude. Like, Pull your pants up and come ask me what's wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. Girl, I just do everything. Like, and I don't even be asking for it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's good. Both had two different uh, personalities, but they was both similar in some ways also. So it's like when one a bump ahead, the next a bump ahead. Like, Literally. when we arguing, it they was, are next. Like, it was a back and forth. Yes, and it's and like it if cool. I'm over there and me and, my, me and him on good terms, Angel and him not on good terms. So it's like, I don't know. And I don't really like to say their name. That's why I just keep saying him and them. But it just was a lie. It was, I feel like you meet people for a reason. We went through that phase for a reason just to get what we had now. So do you feel like being with them two dudes, they brought us closer? Yeah. You feel like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, because we got to see different sides of each other. You, like, we never seen each other in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So like the way you react to things, I never think you react like for real. Like what? Let me tell a story. Let me tell a story. <laughs> All right. One night we went out. <laughs> Hold up. What you about to say? <laughs> when we pulled up to the crib. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So one night we went out. Oh, we went sitting on the corner. And, yes. Oh my and gosh. They didn't invite us back to the crib, so I was just like, man, we finna go home. Forget them. Da -da -da. That's the type I am in a relate. Not in a relationship, but at the time in a relationship. I was the type to say, I'm just going to go home or they didn't invite us. Like, 
I didn't make it a big deal. Huh? Yeah, we pulled around the block, parked on a corner, and was watching it. Tell me why they seen us the whole time. It, and we, we didn't know that. Speaking, but it like, was, I think it was Nunu that saw us. Yeah. He yeah. said he saw us. And it's, a lot of stuff happened, but we can't really say that on camera. Yeah. It was the Florida trip for me that took me out. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? No, that's yeah. embarrassing. Like it that is. No, you so know what was embarrassing? When we were sitting on the bench and we was like, girl, if Messy <laughs> Maj we was to see us right now. My cousin was crying. That was <laughs> she so was like, we straight it up. Yeah, it was embarrassing. It was a movie. Remember you was like, literally. What we go, what we went through was literally a movie, and it was so funny, it but was. it was so many, like But I laughed so much with that stuff. Like, it just was yeah. funny to me. It was, it was a... Uh, Time. Like it was childish though. Like it was. I feel like it was a time for our childhood. Like we passed that now. We're more mature. We're more older. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through that again. It was oh, no, fun. Me it, it was, was fun while it lasted, but I don't want to go through that again. Mm -mm. <sighs> We're about to toast. Pretender, can I have a Finny? Don't play, please. So what are we cheering to? What are we cheering to? New niggas. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, new grown men. Okay. New grown men. No, a new beginning. Are you going to say it or you... No, this all going to be in the video. Oh, okay. So, new grown men. <laughs> oh, shit, my dear. Oh, this not that bad. This not that bad. This like watermelon. It's a little sour. Oh, Lord. All right, y'all. So, now we about to get into, like, you know, Miss Scorpio herself. You know how I used to always call you, like, a freak? <laughs> She always called me if y'all always say Scorpio is a freak. I'm not even a freak. So what's even... the freakiest thing you ever did? I don't be doing freaky stuff. For real? No. I do the regular. So I know you're not experienced in bed because I'm not neither. Yes, I am. You experienced? We, what what? that mean? What you mean by experience? Bro? Like, I'm still kind of, okay, I just grown to be more open and be more looking my partner in his eyes while we have sex. Like, I'm just, you know? Yeah, I feel like that. Okay. Well, my new man, it's like top tier uh, stuff now. But huh? elaborate, like, like I do anything with my man, like anything new, For like real? that's how comfortable I am with him. But yeah. in my old relationships, like it would just be the regular, like get it done, we done. Like, mm. but now it's like we go all day, like we can do what we want to do. We could, you know, <laughs> we just be doing anything. Like she said, we just be doing anything. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. What's the freakiest thing you ever done? Give me an example. Like, what's something you think I haven't done before that's real freaky? Because you know I don't really do much. I'm trying to get that though, y'all. Like, I'm trying. Okay. You let somebody spin your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with this and spinning well, your mouth? You never let somebody spin your mouth? No, I never let my man spin in my mouth. You? Yeah. Just my man now. Never nobody else, just him. So just while y'all like, you know, doing a do, just yeah. spitting and you swallow it? Mm -hmm. You spit or swallow? Swallow. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God, God. this is kids. <laughs> I'm not ready for her. Yeah. Oh, you ain't ready for my game. Then you say spit and, spit and swallow. All right, so what's your partner? Is he more experienced than you? Yeah. So he show you new, new things? Yeah. And he'll like you wouldn't like laugh sometimes. Yeah, girl, I always be like, I'm be like, girl. Like if something funny happen, I'ma laugh. If if he look funny, I'ma laugh. Like if he doing something funny, I'ma laugh. Like I'm still the same person. I, I still act how I can person in the bed. Like, huh? What you mean? Like I still have my sense of humor while in the bed. Like, I don't well, when I'm from what I knew with you, you was more like quiet and. That's why I That's called what I'm you. Saying now. now you ain't. No. Ooh. Like he just bring a different person out of me. Like Ooh. he bring the real out of me. Like I could act how I act. Like if I'm by myself around him. That's what's up. All right. So I know we have a few influencers that you know speak on us and just say, "Oh, y'all not influencers. What do y'all do? Y'all came up off this person, that person. Y'all don't got nothing going on." What's that girl name? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. Popular Le Alex? Something like that. A Alex or something like that. Girl. So, like, I did saw you comment. I think you was like, who are you? 
or something like that. You no, think? I was like, but what do you know for? Because what does she? People just laugh at her all day. Yeah, like she's like, I guess like, she's like a funny influencer. But what do you do? You just funny? Like you're a comedian? That's she don't label herself <laughs> as a comedian. Like what do you really do? She's not. I don't know. Some, she don't. But I don't know why they she speak like on that. Girl. We don't speak on them. So like, how you to get the attention on them? I feel like it. Mm. It went viral. Everybody seen it. Everybody seen it. Reposting. That's yeah. what she wanted to do. She oh. wanted people to see her. But how is you and your relationship? Oh, but well, X that again. I wasn't ready. <laughs> how is you and your relationship going? We're good. Um, you know he's older than me, so it's like it's a lot of different things that I had to learn. I had to adapt to, and just the way his lifestyle is in general. So we're good though. We like, we got some good stuff in store for you guys. You know, I just introduced him to my channel. He was actually the first person on my talk show. So that, you know that was a big step for me, Angel. You uh, know, I don't put my business on the internet. Definitely who I'm messing with, like, that's my man for real, for real. So I don't, I don't do all that. Like, Angel, Angel don't care, baby. Angel pop out, pop out. Like, y'all gonna know. This is what it is, and this is what it's gonna be. And that's that. But... Mm -mm. He showed you something different, like it don't gotta be nothing in the bed, like anything. Like. <laughs> yeah, he showed me I could be more than just this YouTuber. He showed me I could be more than what I'm. I could do more than what I'm doing. You know, like in a sense of just starting my own business, starting my own cosmetics line. You know, doing more. Like we've been talking about other stuff for me to do on top of me doing this show driving my cosmetics line, like, it's so much more out there. So many, it's so many ways you can make money. Like, he showed me, like, a lot, just in general. And then me seeing him and all the businesses he own in this state and that state and this state and that state, so it's just like, dang, like, he really on his shit. So how's he So he motivated from, like, me. Your past relationships, like, how is it different? How is he different from the So I wouldn't, say the, I wouldn't say Damari, because I feel like me and Damari relationship was more like, it was an experience, you know. You know how people come into your life for a reason, and then it it end for a reason. So I feel like that was like that because it was so quick. So I say from my first, not my first, but my relationship with you know who, my relationship with Devante. I feel like he, how can I say this? With Devante, I feel like that relationship it lasted long, but I just feel like we wasn't getting nowhere. Like it just felt like we was going in a circle, in a circle, in a circle. It's like he was he was mainly focused on one thing, and I was putting all my energy into him instead of focusing on what actually what I had going on. Like I lost myself in him. So I feel like with well, my partner now, I'm not losing myself in him. Maybe just getting to know him more and being around and like to be around him more, like losing myself. But as in like losing my drive for YouTube and losing my drive for just. Me being a businesswoman in general, I'm not, it ain't that. Like, he pushed me. Like, he get on me like I get on him. We motivate each other that's to good. do better. So, I feel like that's a big difference. And another thing is, like, he don't hide his feelings. He's very affectionate. Like, I love that. Because I'm not. Me either. I, like, if somebody crying, y'all, I don't know how to just give them, I don't know what to do when they crying. I just be sitting there, like, am I supposed to hug them? And then when I hug him, what you want me to do? I'm not, you know? So it's like he's showing, he's open that soft side up with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm more affectionate to him now. At first, I wasn't affectionate at all. And I don't know. It's just, it's a learning experience. But I feel like, honestly, this is my first time ever even being in love, for real. I don't feel like I was in love before. I feel like, like... How do you really know what you don't love really know is. what love is until Girl. it's so deep, like until until like I feel like you feel like you can't live without that person. Yeah, not can't live without that person, but, but like can't function. If they were to leave today or tomorrow, like you would be devastated, like mm -hmm. heartbroken, like. And I feel like that. Do you feel like that with Jay? Yeah, like I, me too. I like. don't think I don't know. Like I was thinking about that earlier. Like I was getting my makeup done and. She was, I was talking to her, you know, telling her I'm bringing you on my show. And she just was like, and I was telling her about my partner and just was saying, like, you know, the things that we have um, coming up. And she was like, do you feel like you're in love? And I was like, yes. I was like, it's so, I was like, it's so different from what I have been through. Like, my partner, my boyfriend before this, I had a feeling where as though I couldn't live without him. But 
I also had a feeling like I could do so much better without him. So now it's like, well, my point that I have now is like, I feel like I could do so much better with him and us as a team and building things together instead of just somebody just thinking, oh, I'm doing this, oh, I'm doing that, and forget about my dreams. Because, I don't know, it's just, love is crazy. Love yeah. is like... Because you can always tell somebody you love them, but... Do you really mean it? Like, right. you know? Yeah. Do you think he feel the same about you, though? Who, Justin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like, like we stay talking about the future and we stay in like the present, like, oh, we're gonna name our kids this, oh, we're gonna do this at our wedding, oh, we're gonna like mm -hmm. we talk as if it's gonna happen because we're right. gonna like and I never even talk to nobody about stuff like that. Like they will never bring it up. Any of my past relationships, it'll just be like we just there. Right. But like it just him, there like, in we're planning moment. for the future, we're right. planning on what we want, how we wanna do things, like we know we wanna be with each other. So mm -hmm. Sometimes, you ever get this feeling where sometimes it's like, you believe it, but then you be like, damn, is this actually happening to me? Yeah, but I be feeling like, like, I get scared, because I be like, what if I mess up? I know. Like, what if I mess up? What if he mess up? Like, then what I'm going to do? Like, but I don't want to think like that. I don't, I don't, think I don't feel like, I don't so much feel like, what if I'm going to mess up? I just be feeling like. I don't know. Like, it's kind like, of... what if they get tired of me? What if they... I know. What if I know it started annoying her too much? Like, it, it could be anything. It's just a lot. It's a lot with men in general. Like, you just never know what they had. Like, hey, they... Like, one day they could be feeling like this, next day... Because I know my partner. One day he feel like this, next day he feel like this. But I feel like no day he has ever came and just been like, I don't want to be with you one day, and then I won't be with you the next day. Nah, it ain't. I feel like it never came today. So I feel like with you, neither. Like, yeah, he's never even like, like even when I'm mad, like I've never even seen him mad. When I'm mad, it's just like, nah, I've seen my partner mad. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I've, I've, I ain't gonna say like I just see my partner mad. Like you gotta, I feel like in a relationship you gotta see that that side of them. Yeah, I'm saying like at me, like oh. Like, anything I do, even if I just, like, got an attitude, most boyfriends will get mad or, like, I'll be like start an argument I'm gonna or something like that. Like, yeah, but him, he just, I don't know. He just makes me forget about it, come for me. Like, I don't even know how to explain So, it. was you scared to, like, introduce him to your platform? Um, no, I feel like everybody already knew, kind of. Mm. But... Because I don't be caring what they be talking about, honestly. I don't be caring she what y'all be talking be about. She said, I don't be caring what y'all be talking about. I don't. Like, she they don't be care. bringing up his ex and stuff. Mm -hmm. What they was that him. with something about following? What happened with that? Following. Yeah, they said something about his ex liked his picture or something. Oh, the pip, the video the video of us popping out. Oh, did she like that? I don't know. I, oh. I couldn't see it. I, I don't know. I don't think so. But... I mean, she probably happy. She happy. <laughs> she said he for she probably He's happy. happy. He happy. Why would it? I mean, just know your boundaries. I hate you. That's it. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. Oh my God, bartender, can we have a shot, please? Cause we about to get into this hot shit. Shot a clock. Girl, you finished that? Hold up. That, <laughs> that was a big shot. I didn't, I mean, think, I got a I didn't expect you to take it all. You just want to take a little sip. Yo, you didn't say that. You said <laughs> all right, y'all. So we just took a little shot, you know, loosened up a little bit. Enough talking about our man, our man, our man, who y'all know who we in love with, the real bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we about to get into Do You Know the Host? How well do you know me? You ready? What's my favorite thing to eat? Uh, hmm. we like to eat shoot sunflower seeds. Take a shot. You do that's like you. sunflower seeds. That's you. We both like sunflower seeds. I don't like it as much as you like it. Shoot pasta. Thank ice you. Cream. Thank you. Take a shot though. You already say sunflower seeds. Man, you <laughs> ain't. <laughs> 
I this the it. same person that called me on the phone and was like, Sis, when you was asking him questions, that I was answered easy all questions. Of them. These are hard questions. All right, favorite hair color. <sighs> it's like a. <laughs> it's like a, the light brown. The brown? Yeah, like the light brown. Like the like honey brown. Uh huh. Good job. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, what's your favorite thing about me? My favorite thing about you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she mm. taking so long. Can I think? All right. My favorite thing about you. Um, you like overly. You overly go out your way. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, and I appreciate that. No problem. Least favorite. Least favorite thing about you? My attitude. My attitude. <laughs> um, when we don't agree on something, it's just like, like, here it comes. Like, she finna go off. She finna give me why she thinks she right and why every, list five things why she thinks she right and why I'm wrong and why she not finna listen to me because she right and nobody no, can tell her that she wrong. But I just feel like, no, but my partner also tell me the same thing. So when my partner, he's, help me grown as a person. I didn't know that I do those things because like I told y'all, I didn't have siblings when I was growing up. I didn't have to be with nobody. I had to tell nobody, you know, something. So I feel like once I was around Angel, I felt like I was more of her protector. So it's like, I was telling her a lot of things just to prepare her for the future in a sense. So I feel like once I, the way I brought things to you, it could have been in a different way, you know, but yeah, so that's something I have been working on within myself and my something that Yo, my partner did. There's one time I thought she was going to fight me. She was out and something happened. And she's like, it's okay. We're going to talk about it when I get home. Right when she got home, right when I heard the door close, she come knocking on my door. Oh, you got company? We're going to talk when they leave. Oh, y'all know what? I I thought she was feeling a rumble. I thought nah. she was ready to fight. I was like, I oh, would, nah, she too. I nice, would like. not know because if I tell you, it's, I'm so aggressive because from New Orleans, that's like easy, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just from what I grew up at. You grew up in Houston, so y'all take things differently. I feel like the way I come off is more aggressive, but it's not aggressive in a bad way. It's more of aggressive in like, that's just how we talk in New Orleans. Like, even when I'm at work and I be talking to people, like, they be like, girl, she serious? And my uh, sister, Brie, my sister-in-law, she'll be like, nah, that's, that's how she play. Like, that's how she talks. So I feel like... No, when I if I wanted to fight you, I would have been like, I wouldn't ever text you nothing, girl. I would have just waited. I would, and then she was in that room with that nigga who I know she could do better with. Oh, y'all know I was ready to. Girl, hey, I, I, pass. I closed that door. It was like whatever. That's but we, in a, but we, we better not. All right, what's my favorite drink? Well, alcohol. Mm -mm. Tea. Good job. <laughs> Unsweet or sweet. <laughs> Sweet tea. <laughs> All right. So this is a game of fit it on play. You could say this or that, and if you don't want to answer, take a shot. Right here. Oh, God. All right. Uh, okay, so you could ask me. Okay, so we're going to both play this game. So I'm going to give you a card, and you could ask me some, some up, and I'm going to ask you some up here. All right. You ready? I'm gonna go first. Right. If you took more than five Plan Bs, take a shot. My turn. Oh, um, <laughs> Angel! I haven't taken more, more than five, girl. For real? No, it's not over five. It's not five or more. Oh, okay. Um, Small or big size. <laughs> what? Um, you don't care. I don't know. Like, have you experienced both? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, big. I have not experienced small. For real. For real. Uh, have you experienced small? small? Yes. For real. Mm -hmm. Oh, she said it's so <laughs> Compared to now, yes. For real? Yes. 
I and I didn't think it was small at the time because I never experienced big. Like, I just thought it was normal. <laughs> no. No. I was surprised. Um, whatever my man is, he ain't small, though. But that yeah. wasn't the question. Take oh, a shot. Okay. <laughs> that was not the question. Big then. No, it's too late. You already <laughs> said, whatever my man is. How are we supposed to know that? Take a shot. All right. Big. <laughs> it's too late. Take the shot. It didn't ask Girl. you Girl. Come on. Fell out with a friend over a nigga. Have I fell out with a friend? Or had a disagreement? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Um, um, we switching. After you what? go. After you go. Eat you out or you go down? Eat me out. I'm so serious. Go ahead. Plan B or keep it? Now, I will keep it. Before? Plan B. How many? <laughs> <laughs> like three. <laughs> Twelve. Go ahead. Ever kiss the girl and have sex with one? No. Why do you have to think about it? Because I have kissed the girl, but it wasn't like no... Kiss, like oh, French, what kind of kiss? Kiss, period. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I want my car back. These, I want, I want Doggy style and missionary. <laughs> Doggy style and missionary. Um, that's the one we be looking each other in the eyes, missionary. Oh, you like to look him in the eyes? Some, not like the whole time, but like, yeah. Some, yeah, missionary. Um, your turn. Oh. You got one on there that I want. Come on, she ain't take no shots yet. Ever had sex like Fifty Shades of Grey? No, but I want to. I'm trying it on Tuesday. Oops. Okay. Oh, that means you gotta suck dick. Yeah, I'm trying it. I'm getting sucked too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Scorpio. No. All right. So you say you swallow, right? Yup. How many kids you think you swallow? You can't count how many kids are in it. What's how many mean? times you swallow? I just started. Wait, it's, yeah, so it's probably like three. Only three kids. Four. four. Yeah. You wasn't scared? Mm-mm, no, of course I was. You know? Mm-mm. It's just slimy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just slimy. It don't taste like nothing. If they got good hygiene. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, ever cheated for a give back? No. Mhm. Mhm. No. Rich cheater or broke and loyal? Rich cheater or broke and loyal? Would you rather have a man that's rich and he a cheater, a boy that's broke and he's loyal? Neither. Mm-mm, you got a big one. I'll take a shot. Come on. Um, Shave or hairy? I mean, boys don't really shave, though. I know. I mean, it can't be like a forest, but... Like a little one-two. Like, it can't be longer than an inch or two. (laughs) You suck balls? No. For real? Dudes don't really like that. Well, Camera guy, do dudes like when y'all suck? I mean, y'all like when girls suck balls? No, I don't really. Y'all don't really suck balls. Exactly. <laughs> like, you could pop their ball. What? Nah, man, I'm about to say. That's, that's what it feel like, supposedly. Uh, it's a rhythm. It's very, very small. It's very small. That concludes the show of Finney's Playhouse. Before we end... I have a special gift for this little brat. Mm. Mm. What I got? This is for coming, being a second guest on my show, and I appreciate it. Thank you. You're this welcome. This bag is big. Oh, this a purse. What this is? This girl said a purse. Oh, this is cute.
Get some shoes. Well, Dega, get some shoes. How, you don't even know what size I wear. What size is this? I want some slimes. This is you. But yeah, I was just looking for some slides. This is cute. What is, how you pronounce this? Bottega? Mm-hmm. Bottega. Bottega? Mm-hmm. Can you fit it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is cute. It's not, oh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What you was looking for? I, the bag was real, real heavy. I thought it was so much. Girl, I can't out with her. But Bye, cute. Rachel. So this concludes Finney's Playhouse. Make sure you guys tune in. On the next episode, we have a real special guest coming, and Finney's Playhouse is...